Hello, I'd like to welcome one, and I'd like to welcome all back to Trine. We're going to the Crystal Caverns. I recorded this directly after the previous episode because I felt like recording more Trine. So, we're going to Crystal Caverns. I Stuff. believe it's because of the Trine that our physical images can be resurrected. You don't have to explain things. It's your fantasy world creator, the developers, dude. Okay, those are Folly McFallers, if we're gonna call them that from now on. Those things are pretty plentiful and very obvious. You're an idiot. I can hit them? Can you pull them off or something? Oh, you can't twist them. Seems. That's sweet. I didn't kill all of them. I do love this music, though. Just listen to this music. Just enjoy it. Let it absorb you. As I said, this game has beautiful environments of music. Which is all that makes it kind of... It compensates, but at the same time makes me sad that this game is so rudimentary at some points. How do we even... Oh yeah, I know how to attempt this one. Okay, let's try this the other way. Also known as the cheater way. Uh oh, didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Draw a line, draw a line, draw a line. Look, widget it out of there. Like I said, physics objects, you gotta know what you're doing. Actually, I think the warrior would do better at this. Boom! That was awesome as fuck, dude. Who's next? I've got all day, dude. But anyone would like me to continue on Epic, actually. I, if I'm going to continue on Epic, I, I am going to make a new guy, because it is not going to work with what I have right now. Do I want another box? This guy has two points, so I could give him... Okay. Yeah, it does consume some enemy energy. So what does the next level do? Dude, I could use something against shielded enemies. I really like RPGs. Again, I just wrecked the game, you could say. Water! This game allows you to swim, but you have water. Water is, char is done per character, so every character is their own bar. All characters also respond differently to water. Rogue, for example, is rather nimble and can easily swim through this gunk, while the warrior obviously will just sink to the bottom of the sea. Enemies die literally instantaneously the moment they hit the surface of water. You can use that against them, or not. Whatever suits you need. I think, I, yeah, I just double jump because of the physics object. Here's some experience. No chests, though. Kinda of weird that skeletons would die. But then again, like I said, your fantasy world, dude. Come down here, you piece of shit. Dun. There's an experience bottle down there. Yeah, there you go.
damn you. Damn all of you! How do I even get over? Oh yeah, plank. Do not like this camera angle. Do not like this camera angle. That plank was either not long enough or just too long. Kind of rudimentary is for a puzzle, especially, but whatever, dude! Let us proceed. Is there anything behind here? Nope. No items so far, which is kind of annoying. Here's your grapple on and you swing along. Do not fall on Mr. Spikey Spikes. Now, what you can do here is you can either draw a plank to protect yourself, or you can just go with a shield. One thing I haven't shown yet is that the warrior can crush these things. I want to watch out with that. I think the water here. Yeah. There's Slick McDick! Yes, there is something over there, and I'm not leaving without it. And let's open the chests, which takes a second or two. We got the Amulet of Sacrifice, which does what? It uses health as substitute for energy if energy has run out. Can it kill you? Is really the question. With every single one of those items, you want to ask, can it kill you? That's kind of an RPG basic. Health engine is not workable. So if you're dead, you can't use it. Get it? That's kind of the... They should have just made regenerative energy. There is an achievement, by the way, for staying underwater for a certain period of time. There are a few hiding places here that I want to go to first. And as you can see, it tries to load the arrow, but it can't because, well, fuck you, man. You want to shoot arrows underwater? I think that's the point where any physics-based platform puzzler just has to draw the line. Physics-based action platformer, mind you. This game really does want to be everything at once. Random experience, dude. So it's useful to go with the rogue and the wizard to those guys. You can always have the wizard like a backup. Okay, now we have to do something interesting. No. There is a box over there, and the reason that box is there is in case you don't have the power to conjure up two buffs at once. So they did figure that one out. Well, I'm not sitting. I'm sitting in this position for like two seconds, and I'm already having issues. With it. You make bats an enemy? Oh, wow! Oh, my neck is already hurting. It's... Come on, glue. Can't glue onto that one, seems great. Oh, so it's impossible. Then I need to go back and pick up that other crate.
Can we squeeze it up there now? Atta boy. Open the chest, milady! What do we get today? Again, that's for my wizardy dude. I like to give my wizard all the energy items. I didn't know that to do that before, but now I know that he's gonna get them all. Son of a bitch is all that he deserves. It's energy. Raw power. The game never really makes it tough to get through these water segments. Nor are they obnoxiously abundant. It's really well done. Oh dear god, that went really violent. Damn my neck! I forgot these guys breathe fire. Yeah, that is pretty overpowered. Oh, 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 I'm seeing something down there. Which is why this fist is actually here, is... There is a small piece of thing down there. If the game would let me, I could go down here and pick up a few experience bottles. Now this is not a 100% run, because that would mean quite some repetition, because I didn't get everything on my first go. It's a few I missed, and... Would you really want to see me do that to get everything? Is that even appealing for this game? I mean... If you miss something, it's pretty much always your problem. I picked something else up, but I do not know what. Oh, well, I'm down here anyway. Oh yeah, here they demonstrate. Hey! This is really ouchy water. Look, I need a fucking hint to get that. Hey, I leveled up. Let's give ourselves some skills. And now it's maximum level. Yeah, you can only upgrade him once, twice. I kind of forgot that's how it actually works. <sighs> Whatever. But is three arrows enough is the question. Ah, level complete. You enjoy this. I found a comfortable place in our heroes' hearts. Deeply troubled, their minds began to fill with woe. The knight Whoa. had not eaten in many hours, and the scent of meat had not made it any easier. The thief started to worry if she would ever be free again. Yep. And the wizard, well, he was concerned that they would never find the other artifacts to break the trying spell. Truth be told, he didn't mind having some company that stuck with him for more than an hour. And one of them has boobies too! Friends with benefits. Fear not, I shall lead the way. I wish there was more light. Ah uh, yes, this is a fun part. Bubbly water, should not want to go there. Forgot, bubbly water, do not want to go there. Luckily, an arrow or three seems to make short work of these guys. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? You are. Listen to those tunes, man. 
and tell me that this game does not have a gorgeous soundtrack. Oh, a new power, a new power! I think these are the fire arrows, which can be upgraded to the explosive arrows. As I said, time spawning! Not a good idea. Fire arrow. You can see which area you have, depending on that. One thing they don't this tell you. Darkness is unbearable. I've seen wizards light torches with fireballs. Can you? But fireballs? They're no good. They never work. It's a waste of time. I should have known. I can light the torches with fire arrows. I could light the torches too. Yeah, but this fire flame sword, that's what he's talking about. Which is actually possible to get at this point, I think. But ever anyway, anyway, these are fire arrows. Fire damage gets upped if you level it up. Takes a point or two. Takes also a bit of energy to use, so you might want to consider switching. Okay, so there is a, well, torch that you can light. You want to do that, because it is unbearable to see without those torches lit. Oh, so lovely. Look at that gorgeous lighting. Why the fuck do we need more of these guys? Come on! What do these things do again? Boy, they lit up, that's their whole deal, so that they have a function as a light source. Or something. I wouldn't know. It's been a while. It's so very heavy, it seems. A little bit of light. He just says whoa when he's hit, wow. That's a real man. So much fun. Wizard is actually a really good fighter in the next game when it's a bit easier to cast spells. No! You can't cast spells in the air too well. Is, can I reset it? I mean, is there... Does this game have a reset switch? I don't know.
Hey, there he is. Detecting one of those shields is awful. Thank you for standing still with air live. Here's an arrow right up the ass. Yeah, this is about where I actually figured out you could light those torches. Up until then, I've been using those blocks. Boom! Lovely lighting engine. It's simple, but it just gets the job done. Come up. Come on up. Get on up. Come up and get on up. The sex machine. Just light the torches. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This one was kind of funny, finicky, but I remember how this one goes. You're supposed to pick up this piece. You can move slightly. You're supposed to cling it behind this. It never tells you that that's how some physics objects work. You can just put that up there in case you want to use the rogue. I prefer that solution. It's a lot more practical. I like how the fire just selectively lights things up and all. It's really fucking stupid. Well, the arrow does at least light things up. stuff up there. I can't live without my stuff. Where get the hammer, dude? This guy gets a hammer at some point. That's a really fucking awesome hammer. Guess it would take a while because well, actually it doesn't have to. For you ask, no, there is no floor. They should have carried a lantern, that would be just spiffing if they had like a lantern hanging from their belts, a la Twilight Princess. It would have added some logic to the reason that they glow in the dark. Yeah, pretty much the same principle. 
I'm only with the dead mage this time. The idea is though they can do both because it's pretty tough to do this one with that other one in the way. They toss it over, up and over, and we can go safely actually, which is neat. And I think we've almost reached the end of the level. Wow, you were remarkably easy. We have to get out of here. We're close to the dungeons. This is the way to the castle. Ha! The castle must have food. On to the castle. <laughs> oh, there's a lever here. <laughs> Wait. Ah. Oh! That was annoying. Well, I guess one experience point can't hurt that much. This isn't a 100% run, but that's just annoying as shit to find that out. Can I pull the lever again, maybe? Nope. It's stuck down there forever. It's just, fuck you, here's a finger, go home. Jeez. Well, I'll see you guys next time on Trine. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did not, then I'm Heroes sorry, but okay. entered the castle through the dungeons. The knight thought back to his childhood days and the excitement the dark corridors had provided back when the spiders were small and the bones were piled neatly in the corners. <laughs> okay, so next time we'll go to the Forsaken Dungeons. This looks pretty nice, actually. Me the chills. It's a dungeon. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Fear not. I have my sword and my cape. <laughs> I am the king of the castle. I shall crush all my enemies and lead my army to victory. We are invincible. <laughs> well, at least he has some enthusiasm. See you guys next time.